What's up, everyone? We just got back from H Mart. This is all beef ramen, and we're gonna do a taste test and let you know which one's the best tasting one. And we're gonna find out which one is the best to munch on during this whole quarantine. Yep. So we're gonna start off with the ones we know the most um, is Maru Chan. So let's go ahead and open that one up, and then we'll probably end up doing the Nissin noodle cup, Kung Fu noodles, this one I grew up on. And then we have Beef Mami from the Philippines. And we have Paldo's Dosi Rack. I've had this one before, it's actually one of my favorites. And then these two other ones, uh, this is like I think a Chinese brand. We'll start with this one, get this one ready. The way you said Mami, you're like Mami. <laughs> mami. <laughs> Three minutes. We're definitely gonna compare Maruchan versus Nissin cup noodle beef flavors. Which one do you think is gonna win? I think the Maruchan one. Smell? Nah. No, this, this one's, one's a more weird. familiar flavor. It's it's smell. It's I don't like, know if it smells. It has weird. a weird, like, sweet, like almost perfumey, like. Uh, like uh, Comment down below what you guys are doing for your quarantine. Hit the notification button. We also have a glass of water here, just because we know that this is a lot of sodium we're gonna be eating all at once. Kind of like a mukbang thing, but make sure you get your water in. Now I've made a little cup, and now I can grab it like this so that we don't have to wait so long for it to um, cool down. And is that something you've seen on another video? No. Maruchan has corn, and dried vegetables into their cup. Feels like you're getting a little more nutrition from that. Had it before, I will eat it. I think the flavor is not too heavy. Yeah. It's just generic noodles, but it's like a classic. I feel like- Yeah, this is definitely it. one of the classics, I agree. Out of 10, what would you give it? A seven. Seven out of 10? All right. So we got the Nissin here. This one also comes with uh, corn and other vegetables in there. And this, the only thing that's, I think, different is, do they have beef chunks in here too? Oh, they do have beef chunks. The beef chunks Both of them come with beef chunks. I don't know if it's real beef. It's probably dehydrated soy or something. Really? Yeah. It's not bad. I like Maruchan better. I feel like um, it's got less salt content. Not as flavorful. It's not bad either. Give it like a five. I give it a four. What's our next one? It's just kind of dry. I'm gonna go back to one of my original kung fu ones. I'm gonna start this one up while we uh, talk about that one a little bit more. Okay. The taste is there, but I feel like the moisture isn't. Like I know it's brothy and stuff, but like it's still dry. Like your mouth still feels kind of dry eating it. This one is the flavoring oil for the kung fu instant oriental noodles and it comes with the seasoning packet if you are just trying to save money and you want more food this is a better choice but if you do want like quality and taste to be put into consideration i feel like the mao chen is definitely a bigger bang for the book so when i was growing up i used to just eat this when it was without the hot water i'd break it up into like little chips and then open up the seasoning packet and then shake it up i know a lot of you guys did that too but I'm gonna be fancy, put a little egg, a little bit of beef in my noodles, you know. I'm so aggressive, you're like, this is really good with egg though. <laughs> this one has a lot of sodium in there. Make sure you drink your water after you eat one of these packets. 1100 milligrams of sodium. Wow. Let's prepare another one. What are we gonna go for next? The mommy? Beef mommy? mommy. Beef mommy. mommy. <laughs> So this one was, I think, like 80 cents a packet, but it is super tiny compared to the other one. Noodles are actually thinner looking too. This one is from the Philippines. This is a Taiwanese. 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 It's Taiwanese. And then the seasoning. I think these take probably a little bit longer to cook. This one has like a distinct like smell to it too. It's not bad. Yeah, it looks pretty done. We like our noodles al dente. A little bit of chew to it still. We don't want it to 
overly soaked. I love soggy noodles. I'm not a fan of soggy noodles. I like it really, it has a little bit of spring to it. So this is the Kung Fu noodles. These are my favorite noodles growing up. I still like the flavor. Now that I'm older, I don't like it as much. But... Every time I eat this, it likes so much sodium. Let's do the oolong min from Nongshim. Or I could get the packet open. Oh, oh my gosh. What was that? That's just went up in my face. Oh, my bumps. business. I like how this one peels open compared to these cup noodles in the Mario Chan, where it like sometimes it's just like it just rips all weird. Ah, this is hot. Ooh. This is the beef mommy. Philippines. from the philippines it kind of has like a faint like beefy smell to it so beefy you know i think it's good maybe a little bit longer i do like the flavor of it the noodles has like a flavor to it where i'm not the most fond of but a, stale a little staleness yeah That's not but the broth is good oh yeah lucky me brad that is 59 cents 60 cents for this one. Really cheap. This one next, we'll go with Instant Noodles Beef Flavor from Dragonfly Brand. This one was the most expensive one. This was two bucks. Like this one's cooking. This one should be ready. This one is the Nongshim brand. So yeah, that one looks Ooh, definitely it ready. Really good. Does it smell good? Smell Let me smell it. Oh my gosh, smell it. Mmm. So I think this one has mushrooms in there. Yeah, it definitely has a picture of like a shiitake mushroom on there. Oh gosh, she's thick. And then there's like little beef chunks, beef-like chunks in yeah. there as well. I'm gonna try this little beef chunk first. Not bad. I think this one, um, the beef mummy was a little saltier, so it was like more flavorful, but I think this one's really good. This was $1.49. That's pretty good price. Yeah, not bad. I really like it. It's pretty good. And it comes with like little bits of, I think, tofu? Nope, that's the mushroom. That's good too. Final one, my favorite. This is how to do your, to get the, all the soft in, go like this. Grab the, pack it by your mouth. Whoa. Boom. Life hack. All right, so the Dosi Rack, this one is the Paldo brand. Mm -hmm. This is, uh, has been my favorite. This is the one that actually overtook the Kung Fu noodles when I was growing up in my favorite noodle. This one has vegetables and the little dehydrated soy meats or whatever it is. And this one has a pack here. It's red, so it's spicy. So water goes in here. Yeah.